<laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, just a quick word before we start off. Uh, due to circumstances beyond his control, the lad who was playing the part of Rodney uh, had to get married on Saturday <laughs> and is at this moment having a wonderful time up a Swiss Alp. <laughs> um, George Biggins, however, has agreed to play the part at an hour's notice and has shut the butcher shop early, especially. <laughs> My wife's still playing one of the lovers, so we hope for a bit of fun there. <laughs> by the by, if there are any men who wish to join the Dramatic Society, not women, I've, I've got enough of those to last me a lifetime, no, no, just men, uh, please see me after the performance backstage, will you? Uh, if you can get round. No room to swing a cat back here. <laughs> Young Trevor will have to find another hobby. <laughs> Incidentally, we've painted all the scenery ourselves. Right, on we go then, let's get on with it, could we? Thank you. Right, let's, let's get on. Gracious, the master, and me with my dumplings on the table. <laughs> so, this is the elegant Mayfair flat I've heard so much about. It's beautiful. Tell me, what's it like being a successful novelist, Charles? <laughs> Utterly divine, my dear. <laughs> and desperately born at the same time. <laughs> in comfort. <laughs> what has money brought me, dear? You've got your yacht in cans. Oh, you're so lucky. You can lie on the deck and sunbathe all summer. Heaven. <laughs> I get tired of lying in cans. <laughs> One feels so like a sardine. <laughs> at me like that for? Cos I love you, you silly little fool. <laughs> I know. Isn't it heaven? <laughs> what have you got there? <laughs> it's my new cocktail shaker, dear. <laughs> Isn't it divine? <laughs> heaven. Olive? Yes, Charles. Stuffed? <laughs> no, just a plain olive, thanks, Charles. Very well, Cynthia. Cheers. <laughs> when will we be married, Charles? Just as soon as my dreadfully boring divorce comes through, dear. <laughs> Remember, I got a grown-up son. <laughs> Still, let's not think about him. He's... He's miles away up at Oxford. <laughs> Master Rodney, sir. Good heavens. What? <laughs> we... <laughs> Hello, Pops. Rodney, why are you not up at Oxford? They sent me down, Pops. Dash rotten. Luck, wasn't it? <laughs> Governors at once. How dare they treat a sensitive person like you by pushing you aside in such a way like that? <laughs> <laughs> How dare they put a sensitive person aside? I mean, when they know you must be. I mean, they treat you, thank you very much. They treat you as though you're some. <laughs> treat you as though you're some country bumpkin. <laughs> Cynthia will mix you a cocktail. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you doing here, Snithier? <laughs> I thought I'd never see you again. Charles, <laughs> your father doesn't know about us, does he? I've told him. I've told him nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a relief. Cocktail. 
tail? <laughs> well, as long as it's a little one, I'm not really old enough. Oh, Rodney, do you remember what I said to you in Oxford that night in the shrubbery? <coughs> well, as long as it's a little one, I'm not really old enough. <laughs> What we were doing, we both know that. We both know what we were doing to each other. But I knew I was doing something to you you didn't know about. There was something you couldn't know about that I was doing to you. A young, innocent boy. How could you know I was corrupting you? Poor, <laughs> poor. Is there no privacy anywhere? Yeah. Uh, if you want people to leave you alone, you should have your doorbells disconnected. <laughs> Knockers! <laughs> well, if you want people to leave you alone, you should have your knockers disconnected. <laughs> Sweet boy. <laughs> oh, how radiant you look, Snithier. <laughs> I could sing your praises forever. I don't know where to start. <laughs> Turn over. <laughs> It mustn't happen. It can't happen. Not this way. <laughs> but it must. It must. I don't care about the world. Kiss me. son and tell him that his Cynthia's flat out on the sofa, on top of which his son is behaving very underhanded behind his back, under his very nose. <laughs> Off! <laughs> He's fainted. <laughs> So this is the end. old girl. <laughs> I am her husband, Gaston Gerard, at your service. I come, <laughs> I come from France. Did you not get my letter? Husband? Oh, it's true. I've deceived you. You, Rodney, your father, your grandfather. But I don't care. All I wanted was adventure. Oh, well, if that's how things are, then I am off. <laughs> I'm going back to somewhere where I know I'm always welcome. 
again, ever. I promise you this, my darling. No man shall ever kiss me <laughs> on the lips again. From now on, it's all over. 